We're so stoked to be able to share this next set of videos from a gem that you might not actually have heard about, but we think you're absolutely gonna love. This is Rarotonga. It is 100% the most relaxed place we've traveled. This is so peaceful. <gasps> Rarotonga is a little paradise in the Cook Islands, a nation in the South Pacific with only around 20,000 people and really close ties to New Zealand. It's got a real beachy vibe because there's 15 islands in the Cook Islands spread over 1.8 million square kilometers of ocean. Rarotonga is the largest island and it's the most established as well so it's where we're going to be spending the next week or so exploring and sharing with you across what we've got planned as four videos. There'll be some luxury, some local food, plenty of exploring, some old school island traditions, a bit of extreme craziness, and a little bit of, uh, let's just say, relaxing. Happy hour! <laughs> I have always wanted to go to Rarotonga. Growing up, all of my friends went to Rarotonga because it is so close to New Zealand and Australia as well. And it's just one of those places that I have just been dreaming of dreaming my of whole the life. Islands. Dreaming of the island life. So I actually have been before. My sister got married there about eight years ago, maybe nine years ago. So I'm, I'm assuming lots has changed in that time, but like this is one of the like a true relaxed island kind of vibe. Yeah. They literally don't People. even have McDonald's or KFC or Starbucks. It's just, it's it's the real island. I'm assuming Rarotonga is the kind of place that people walk slower, talk slower, and they just live in the good life, live in the island life, drinking coconuts every day. <laughs> that, should, that should be our goal. Yes. Is to try and slow down coconut a day oh you mean slow down well both of those things <laughs> okay, maybe yeah yeah both um it is pretty cold here today in auckland so we're hoping that rarotonga is a little bit warmer the weather forecast did show a fair bit of rain but fingers crossed for sunshine i think this is going to be a really cool trip because it's something really different for us which we're obviously really looking forward to and i, th I think like the islands and cook islands in particular haven't really been shown much on youtube so i hope this is really fun to kind of come along on this like this vacay with us as we go full exploration mode so rarotonga is really small as well so we're going to get the chance to kind of explore and see a lot of it and it's only four hour flight so we're flying with jetstar it's a nighttime flight but it's direct so there's no pissing about. It should be very painless and very seamless to get there. Hi, my name's Anita. I'm the customer service manager. I'm Mark, I'm one of the team from Auckland. We have Donald, Jess, and Ming Mee. It's a pleasure to have you flying with us. Let us know if we can be of assistance uh, with anything. We are here to help. You can tell how muggy it is. Instantly, the lens fogged up. And how casual it is as well, because we're quite literally just walking along the runway. People are just like, hi, just welcoming us. It's a very small airport. That's pretty much it, just this one building that you can see there. Oh, thank you so much. Nice. We made it. Oh, we made it. <laughs> Ten minutes drive from where you stand. It was so nice to actually wake up this morning. I felt like we've been waiting for the last six or seven hours to actually see where we are and how nice this place is. Because it was dark, obviously, arriving last night. And at the airport, honestly, everyone we've met has been so lovely. You literally walk out of um, customs and there's somebody waiting there to greet every single person. Mm. She's like, Kia ora na, where are you staying? Where would you like to go? She greeted every single person and told us exactly where we needed to yeah. be. It was so cute. It's so personable and so like friendly and so chilled. I, I can tell that. I know I normally get a little bit excited yeah. and I am excited to like see this place, but I just need to like Relax. hone that in a little bit. So go for it. I was going to say we did do a lot of relaxing because we did a lot of sleeping because mm, uh, we, we got in quite late. We slept in a little bit. We almost missed breakfast. 
uh, but we did actually manage to get in just on time to get some coffee. Thank you. Yeah, goodness. and there's this, there's like a little cat like just walking around yeah. saying hello to everybody. We're sitting overlooking like a pond and there's just fish swimming around. There's Everything's like, open air as well, so you just, you're just always in the sun. Coconut trees just like overarching. Right behind us here is actually where our room is. And then that is the lagoon right there. Like we are in such a beautiful spot. It's called Pacific Resort Rarotonga. And I think today we want to spend like, most of the day here. <laughs> <laughs> Dane went for a bit of a walk this morning to find out where breakfast was, but I haven't actually even been down onto the... Oh, look how clear it is! It's so clear! Oh yeah. Look at all the blues! <laughs> <laughs> the colours are incredible! This is quite literally a postcard. Wow. Well, I'm pretty sure the beach is probably the real highlight of this place, but there's a lot more going on. So we're going to take a walk around because I want to try and find where the swimming pool is. Well, we had a brief look at the map and I think it's actually over the other side of the property. So kind of not on the beach front, but over, over the back somewhere. But we have to be careful because the weather here in the Cook Islands is that really unpredictable sort of um, tropical storms that can roll through for a couple of hours and then pass on. And we've got a little bit of a window that we can take a trip out on the Pacific Resort glass bottom boat. And then we can do a little bit of snorkeling. So we kind of want to chase the sun now while we've got the chance because we really have no idea how the weather's going to hold out for the rest of this trip. thing is actually a lagoon which means that the water's a little bit shallow here but it's kind of nice to walk but I don't know if you can see way out the back is where all the waves crash so this whole area is just like it's kind of silent as well but the water's really clear it's not cold either it's actually not cold at all and there's little fish floating around it's like we can walk right the way around the corner as well but we just heard about there's a um, we were gonna go into the river but we just heard that there's a coconut show on in about 30 minutes which we just thought, why not? We'll go see that. Ooh, <laughs> music. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, stick. Yeah. Sharp stick, okay? That end is sharpened like a schoolboy's pencil. Carpenter's pencil. Get it in there nice. And just rip away. All right. So that is the hardest part of the nut, which is the shell. There's three patches on it. Oh yeah. What does that look like? A face, a shocked face. Nah, it still looks like a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. I'm not. Is this safe? You tell me. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, ready? Yes. Water. Amazing. Okay. Good stuff, man. Thank, Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Try that. Cheers. Cheers. Fresh as it comes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Really sweet. Oh, yeah. You're a liar. <laughs> it is actually sweet. Is it? Yeah. It's sweet? Yeah. I got a lovely bunch of coconut. There they are standing in a row. There's some cut. Yeah. Mm. Good. Tastes like coconut. <laughs> oh, of course it don't. Yeah. Wow, you yeah. Did really did your right. Job. You're not <laughs> kidding. Mm. So. And that's coconut cream, coconut milk, call it what you like. That was absolutely brilliant. A guy was so hard case. Just almost every second word out of his mouth was a joke. So that's, that's where we were sitting right there. And then this is our room right on our little balcony here. We've got bean bags, 
right. our own seats. It's, the weather's turned a little bit, getting a bit rainy, so we're going to head in. So while we're in here, we might as well show the room real quick. This is our lounge. There's kind of two sides to it, really, because there's also a couch over this side. And we've got a kitchen, well, kitchenette. With a, that's an espresso machine there. This is the coconut that Stace has already kidnapped for photos. <laughs> Small desk there to work from. We got the bed. That thing's like a marshmallow. It's so yeah, comfy. it was so comfortable last night. Then we've got a second door that goes out to sort of the main resorty sort of area. So entrances from both sides, and then that's the um, luggage, TV, and then around this way. This is all the the bathroom, toilet and the shower so that's very tropical kind of weather here i reckon because like within has it been an hour not even an hour yeah not even the that rain's completely good. stopped so it's time for time for some drinks time for happy hour <laughs> so we're gonna go head down to the barefoot bar and try hopefully try a local cook island beer yes yeah, cook island lager i Rara think it's Tana called Brewery. That's got to be one of the coolest ways to ever announce the fact that it's happy hour. And then there was literally a cheer from everybody out on the water and stuff. I don't know if it would come across on camera, but everyone who's out on like kayaks, yeah, everyone's coming in now so that people can sit along on this beach area in what's kind of, um, it's like a marquee, is that what you'd call it? Yeah. That's held up by bamboo, just literally sitting right over the ocean here. On some days they do breakfast here, even though this morning we had it in the other spot. Apparently tomorrow it might actually be here. We've got two of our beers coming, and Stace has seen there's a, a cocktail of the day as well. We've been very much like in the resort all day today because it's Sunday, so we're kind of just, just settling in and getting used to our island vibe. We do have the chance tonight to go and hang out with um, somebody that Stace went to university with and I might get the chance to put my coconut husking skills to the test. So I need to try and process and remember exactly how that's done because I, I really want to try and be able to do it. Oh, it looks easier once you've already done the first bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. So you just pull out or you have to go right the way around? Uh, go, go another One more? couple. Yeah. Just have a go. Just a good, a good yeah. go. Sure. Alright, we'll see. <laughs> no, Harder. that wasn't the middle. Higher. There yeah. you Ooh, go. Woo. Yeah, that's you exactly kind of it. tap it around. There yeah. we go. And don't lose it all. Yep, it's all gone. Do you no want more of that, did they? <laughs> oh, I, I don't want it, but you can try it. <laughs> There, you go. there we go. Nice. Yeah. Good job. This one's got bits in it. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> <laughs> 